Greetings. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. Um, I'm making this a podcast. This is my second one. Because some of you asked about my last uh, article about the Galamses in Ghana, which is, uh, I titled it, uh, Not in Defense of the Chinese Galamse. Many Africans <laughs> thought I was being uh, too harsh on ourselves while absorbing the Chinese. No, I did no such thing. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the menace of uh, Galamse in Ghana, let, let me try to put it in context. Few days, a few weeks ago, it became good, uh, big news all over the internet that uh, Ghanaians are complaining about uh, the pollution of their rivers by the activities of illegal miners. The problem here is, uh, many of us have been uh, trying to highlight this problem. It's not a new problem. But uh, we were ignored. We were we called a troublemaker. We were called us all sorts of names. Today we see the rivers uh, all over Ghana be uh, polluted and uh, with chemicals and uh, whatever. And now people are very angry. A few years ago, I wrote this article. It's about the illegal miners. Instead of directly, uh, instead of using my usual polemic, I wrote the satire. And to fully understand it, let me read and some extract from that so you can get an idea what I was uh, talking about. Yep. I'm reading from uh, the art, uh, article, not in defense of Chinese galamses. Um, okay, jump in. You, what do you mean by that? I thought you were a Pan-Africanist. Ah, it, it is either you do not know me well or you do not understand what Pan-Africanism is supposed to mean. What is Pan-Africanism supposed to mean if not solidarity among African peoples? That is too part and too simplistic. Pan-Africanism does not mean the telling of stupid lies in the name of African solidarity. To my knowledge, it, does, it also does not mean burying one's head in the sand and playing the hypocrite, which I believe is the root cause of our problem. You, wait and let me explain, okay? Are the Chinese or the foreigners really the to be blamed for the degradation of our environment and the pollution of our rivers. Who else is to be blamed? Have you not seen the pictures of them and their equipment? We are to be blamed if the truth needs to be told. Our gargantuan selfishness, our boundless greediness, our abject lack of vision and capacity to think beyond the now, our unbridled materialism, our insatiable and glutinous appetite for the easy life, our stupendous unwillingness to face reality, our crass stupidity, our utter incapability to plan. You cut me short. Fermi, yes. Are those not too harsh words to use, Fermi? To be honest with you, I wish that I possessed harsher words in my vocabulary. I wish that I had the orator oratorical skills of Robert Ingersoll or Frederick Douglass to rain thunder, brimstones, and the rest of the heavy stuff. It disheartens me to see how utterly hypocritical we became at times. All we do is to pretend to be good people, when we certainly are not. Our stupid and self selfish actions belie our sanctimonious and dupli duplicious posturing. So it makes us feel good to blame the Chinese. We feel fulfilled and sanctified to declare ourselves blameless and pour the blames on the foreigners for our mindless and unbounded corruption. We feel good, yes. We are not the ones to ask ourselves simple questions. Like, for example, who invited the Chinese, the Russians, Ukrainians, and the rest of the foreigners into the country? Or do we imagine that the Chinese just landed in our forest and started to dig gold? Oh, we are such wonderful bloody hypocrites and pretenders. We pretend not to see, read, or hear evil. We have a government, right? Our government has all the appurtenances of a sovereign state. 
Armed Forces, Secret Societies, ETC, ETC. All the men and the women in these agencies get paid to protect our national interest. Why don't we ask ourselves why all our officials went to sleep? Why our forests got despoiled and our rivers polluted beyond redemption? Of course, critical self-examination is beyond us. We are not, we are not concerned with self-analysis. That is not our culture. Since we are such beautiful, peaceful, God-fearing, nice people, it is easy for us to blame foreigners. I will give the link to the article at the end of this uh, podcast. But, but as I try to point out in my writings, we are the architects of our own misfortunes. Of course, it makes us feel good and uh, very feel nice and beautiful to blame foreigners for our woes. But we, it's this time we wake up. It has nothing to do with Pan-Africanism. It has nothing to do with uh, foreigners or this and that. We are responsible for our own misfortunes, basically. Thank you very much for watching my podcast. And uh, please try to read the article and uh, give your comment. Until I come to you next time, as Ireo.